This is Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Duel Academy. Welcome back, guys. Time to get our game on. Sitting by the setting sun and playing children's trading card games. Let's do it. This is Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Duel Academy. Oh man. All right, and we're back to this one, folks. Oh man, so fun. All right, so I don't really, it's been a little while since I've been, since I've been playing this one. Um, let me check the calendar real quick, see if we got anything scheduled by mail. Okay, so we're right here on Wednesday night, so we should have a duel by mail with Bastion next, so that's good, because I do remember doing that. Like, um, scheduling lots of duels by mail. Because, uh, the more duels, the more points. And then we can try to get some more cards. Alright, and how's the volume? Let's check here. Uh, I'm gonna turn it up slightly. I think that's about good. Alright, guys, here we go. It's Cyrus. Get your game on! Get your game on! Ah, Flood! I wasn't doing anything. I was just practicing my... Never mind, let's start. Yeah, let's do it, Cy. Alright. Aw, oh, man. Yep. Alright. And we're going with the old win strategy. Duel! Alright, my turn. So to start, ooh, we got a good combo here. Hunting Ground and um, Cyber Harpy Lady in our first hand. That's very good, actually. Um... I almost don't want to play anything. Yeah, I almost don't want to even play anything. Um, because we got Magician of Faith, Hunting Ground, and Mystical Space Typhoon. I don't want to wi waste mis uh, Magician of Faith either. Um, I do. One thing I do remember about this game is um, the AI playing lots and lots of traps. So I think I'll play this first turn to avoid the Magic Jammer shenanigans, and we're actually gonna pass with the open board. Yeah. Okay, Cyrus, don't choke, don't choke. <laughs> oh, man. I summon Chiroid in attack mode. Yeah, that's not too bad. Uh, Black Pennant. Okay, well, we can destroy that with Hunting Ground, so no worries there. Little direct damage. That's okay, though. I think this is the right move. Yep, and the face down. Okay, so we're probably just going to go after the trap card. Oh, Rising Air Current. But actually, I prefer Hunting Ground right now, so because he does have a face down. So let's go with Cyber Har Harpy Lady. And her name does count as Harpy Lady, so we can get rid of this face down. What you got, Cy? Mm-hmm. And it was Magic Jammer. Hey, looks like we made a good first turn play. Uh to uh Yeah, to uh play hunting ground first. So hey. Alright, we're in good shape. Alright, Cyber Harpy attack. Harpy Lady Slash Attack. Now, Gyroid, um, he has, uh, once per turn, he can't be destroyed by battles, so... But that's okay, um... And now... I think I'll... Oops, Main Phase 2. I'm still in the battle phase, okay, okay. Yeah, Main Phase 2, I think I'll set Mystical Space Typhoon. And we'll call it good. Doo -doo. Doo -doo 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 -doo. But, uh, how are you guys doing? Oh, dude, I have a good hand. Come on, bro. Uh, today is, uh, October 21st, uh, 2022. Uh, the time is, uh, 11.55 at night. Oh, Pot of Greed, too? Man, ah, oh, man. I don't even think we have Pot of Greed yet in this game. I think I might have got a graceful... Ooh. Two Black Pennants, okay. Is he gonna... Oh, he is gonna attack. That's kind of smart. Since Gyroid has more attack points, it can destroy your har Cyber Harpy. Maybe, Psy, but I've got a face-down card. Check it out. Go, Mystical Space Typhoon. So that's actually kind of smart of the AI. He was going to try to crash because with two Black Pendants, uh, Gyroid could survive, you know, once per turn. But luckily, good thing I did set that other Mystical Space Typhoon down because we got to take out. Uh, one of the black pendants, you know, do a little damage to him. He did damage to us, but we got to survive. So, yeah, that's right. We do have Graceful Charity, though, which is good. Um, okay, I'm going to play Graceful Charity and see if I can draw 
another harpy lady. Morphing jar is also this is a good hand. Morphing jar is also very good. All right, graceful charity. No magic chamber. Good. Okay, so let's toss away. Dang, premature burial. Good. Uh, let's toss away swords and man, this is a tough decision. Uh, let's toss away. Um, man, I guess morphing jar because like my hand's really good, so I don't think I'll be discarding everything. I, I really hate to toss away morphing jar, but that was a tough choice. Um, okay, so. Let's see if we can finally get rid of Gyroid. Let's go with Harpy's Brother, attack mode. All right, no traps. So far, so good. All right, Psy, go Cyber Harpy Lady. Attack is Gyroid now. Uh, 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 magic Cellar, okay, well, that is gonna do a lot of damage to us, 2,000, but uh, still got Harpy's Brother's attack. Now, I'm actually gonna attack this face down, because even if I attack Gyroid, it's not gonna be destroyed this turn, and I don't want him to be able to, like, to tribute for something like crazy, you know, that he definitely didn't have in the anime. Uh, and we'll set Metal Morph. In case he tries that power up trick again, um, we'll have Metal Morph to boost our monster's points back to above his 2000 or whatever. So, all right, let's see what you got, Sai. Big, yep, yep, see, this is exactly what I was, I was thinking about. Big core attack mode. Man, I think he's got 2300 points. Wow. Um, so. Bitcore has more points, it can destroy your Cyber Harpy Lady. That's true, Psy, but I've got a trap. Well, actually, I probably shouldn't play Metal Morph because then they would just be equal. And I'm sure Big Core has the like whole counter effect thing. So, yeah, destroyed by battle. It's Yeah, it's gonna remove a counter. Okay, okay, so, yeah, that was the right move. Okay, Cyrus, okay, and he's got a face down. I see that face down, I see that face down. But, I'm not worried about that face down. Because guess what, Psy? I've got a magic card. Go! Premature Burial! And I think I know just what monster I want to revive. Come forth. Once again, Cyber Harpy Lady. No, don't play anything else. And he didn't have magic jammer, so that's good. Now we can play Hunting Ground. And say goodbye to your face down, Psy. Go! Harpy's Hunting Ground. What was it? What was it? Let me guess. Mirror Force? Oh, Seven Tools. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people have that too. Okay, but this is good. Because now I can play... Um, I can, And we have Flying Kamakiri. And so if this card battles without counters, I think it's destroyed. Yeah. So I think what I'll actually do is I'll play Flying Kamakiri. Mm -hmm. And it's got... It's down to two counters. So for now... Let's play Metal Morph on Harpy Lady. Mm-hmm. There we go. Boost her attack. And then whenever she attacks into it, it will um, gain the boost for Metal Morph. So go! It's Cyber Harpy Lady Slash. Very good. Okay, and now to get rid of that last counter, because obviously we want to attack with our guys directly. So I know it will take a little damage, but and it's kind of weird. It's playing the you're winning a duel music. But we're actually, like, losing by quite a bit. Okay, so with Flying Kamakiri, I'll Special Summon. Uh, Sasuke Samurai. Probably just another Flying Kamakiri here. Yeah, that's probably a good call. Okay, and yep, it removed the counter. So now, do I have to attack it again? This card battles. If this card battle without a counter, destroy this card out at the end of the damage step. So this is a little risky. I am gonna take the other 900, but I definitely want to get through, like I said. So let's do it. Go, Flying Kamakiri, number one. Attack him again. Cause I doubt he'll play something with like 2,000 or whatever. So let's go with Flying Kamakiri number one. I guess I should have thought of that. Maybe I should have used Snatch Steel, but it's gone now. We'll see if that was the wrong decision or not. All right, Flying Kamakiri attack. And Harpy's brother, go! Air slash attack! Oh man. GX Duel Academy is so fun. I just, I like all the music and everything in this game. Like, I'm not too familiar with it, like, you know, as far as the storyline and everything, but... Okay, just a monster, good. No spells or traps. Looks like we're good, guys. We're winning a duel, we're winning a duel. Yeah. 
All right. Go Harpies, brother. Air slash attack. What you got? What you got? 18. You got nothing, son. You got nothing. And one thing I do remember is like, try to get the most amount of damage in because you'll get more points. Go Sar Cyber Harpy Lady slash attack. That wasn't very nice. Oh yeah, Sly? Well, guess what? You're gonna be scraping yourself off the pavement because now Slate Warrior's gonna attack you directly. Ha! Time to start with a clean slate. Oh man! Game over. All right, and we, that's pretty good on the points. 394? Yeah, 100, destroy, 200 for destroyed by battle. All right, what do you got to say, Sly? Yeah, I lost. There's no way I could beat Fiery Duelist. That's right, Sly. I'm just too fiery for you. All right, so can we save here? Yes, we can. Yeah, so let's press start. There we go. All right, and uh, I think we have time for one more here, so let's do it. First Bastion. Look, Mike, I put my heart and soul in these six decks. The deck I'll use to defeat Flood is this one. All right, let's do it, Bastion, buddy. All right, and looks like he'll get to choose. All right, I'm gonna get a little bit of water and drink. Duel! Hmm. Oh, how nice of him. He let me go first. Okay, well, let me go first, and then I'm gonna get a drink of water. Exile Force is good um, to destroy whatever he puts out. Um, interesting. Uh, Source and Magician of Fate is actually a good combo. So I think I'm gonna put out Swords, because even if Swords gets destroyed somehow, I can get it back with Magician of Fate. So I will put both, and then I think I'll just... And I'm willing to get rid of hunt Hunting Ground. We don't have any main beasts in our hand right now. So I'll set two and pass. Let's see what you can do about that, Bastion. I am my turn. That's some good water. I've already done the moth, Mike. I'll win. Quantum Duel, sir. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I, I knew I set Magic Jammer for a reason. Perfect. Heavy Storm. Ha! Why, I saw that move coming, Bastion. Go! My face down! Magic Jammer! This jams your magic card and negates its effects. I'll discard Hunting Ground. Ha! Alright, good, good, good. Alright, and I doubt he has Mr. Oh! Well, it's a good thing I discarded, uh, so he had a Swords of its own. Well, it's a good thing I discarded Hunting Ground, because now I can just get it back. That actually worked out pretty well. That actually worked out pretty well. Okay, so neither one of us can attack for three turns. All right, let's see if we can build a pretty good board here in the meantime. Okay. Hmm. Well, eventually, let's try Hunting Ground right now. Okay, no Magic Gem are good. Because um, I'm gonna go ahead and play Hunting Ground because if he somehow clears swords, uh, Flying Kamakiri can float into um, uh, Harpy Lady, so. Let's go ahead and summon Flying Comic Carry number one. No traps, no trap hole. Good, good. All right, and I'll end my turn. We can't attack. He has swords, so. And he can't attack. We have swords, so. Kind of at a weird dual state right now. All right. All right, here we go. My turn. Scapegoat. Nice. I like Scapegoat. Scapegoat's a good card. Um. I could just put out Exile Force to just, you know, kind of randomly guess. But I'm going to wait till um, Bastion, like, does something crazy, like summons another, like a big core or a... I don't know what cards he would have in his deck, but like a Jinzo or something. I'm going to use Exile Force, like, kind of in an emergency. Um, and I guess he already played Heavy Storm, so there's really no harm in, like, setting scapegoat in case Bastion just does something like... I'm not expecting something crazy clears my field of, like, I don't know, Lightning Vortex. Is that legal in this game? Probably. But. Yep, there's a two tribute. Okay, okay. Glad we saved Exile Force. Okay, guys, here we go. You're just a theorem to be cracked, mate. Huh. That's what you think, Bastion. There's no calculating what I can accomplish. Ooh, Graceful Charity is good. Okay. So he still has swords up, but let's try to summon Exile Force. Good. No Torrential Tribute. That would have been bad. Alright, Bastion, I activate Exile Force. 
and you tributed two monsters for this card, so let's destroy it. What was it? What was it? What was it? What was it? Kills on Ah, oh, that's cool, yeah, because he actually did use this in the anime. Uh, he used uh, a wing bee with, gi with giant dragon in his duel with uh, Jaden to, um, yeah, to destroy all of uh, Jaden's spells and trap cards. So that's pretty cool. I'm glad they gave him that card in this game because it's, you know, it's like an actual card that he used. Dang, look at all those spells and traps. Okay. All right. My turn. Foolish Burial. Okay. You're an easy problem to solve, Flood. I activate my... Aww, that sucks. Because that's not going to trigger, trigger Flying Kamakuri as effect. Um, yeah, you got me. Nothing I can do about that, buddy. But, um, so we're both down to 66. That's okay. Um, but something I do, I think I do remember about this game, is I remember getting a Sinister Serpent, I think. So, yeah, let's go ahead and try Foolish Burial. Okay. And let's see if Sinister Serpent's in this in this uh, deck here. It may not be, because it's more of a wind deck. Ooh, Mobius would be good. Um, yes, it is good, good, okay. So yeah, we'll actually wait on Graceful Charity, because next turn, Sinister Serpent will come to our hand. And we can kind of stall for a little bit with Scapegoat. So we're okay here, we're okay. So let's see, let me check my phone. We are still recording, right? Yeah, we're good, okay. Probably a good idea to keep my eye on that. I did clear like some things before I started this recording session, but my 12 skills Beneva is to summon Penguin Savage in attack mode. Uh, that's that's kind of okay. I, I'm fine with that. I'm sure I can get something to get over that. I attack with Penguin Savage. What my calculations? <laughs> His face was just like so happy there for a random reason. No, that's fine. Go ahead, Penguin. Go ahead. I love Penguin Soldier. It's such a good water monster. So good. Can bounce, uh, you know, two monsters to the hand with this flip effect. Perfect. We got Cyber Harpy Lady. Okay. Okay. This is looking pretty good. Uh, Watch Chain? No. So Sinister Serpent. Return Sinister Serpent in the graveyard to the hand. Yes. There we go. Good, good. Okay, so I think... And this, yeah, it's just a Penguin Soldier. I think to start... Let's play Graceful Charity. Let's see if I can get like Mystical Space Siphon or anything. No, but that's good. We did draw the other Harpy Lady. And he does have two traps set. I know we have Hunting Ground, but um, ooh, Flying Common Carry is good too. I don't want to discard the other hunting, hunting Ground, but the monsters we drew are just so good. Uh, and then how do you decide? Yeah, there we go. Decide. There we go. Yeah, because this is basically all Harpy Ladies here in our hand. Um, I think I'm actually going to summon the regular Harpy Lady because um, I'm just uh, doing that. Play the weaker one first, just in case like he has Mirror Force here and we miss it. Okay, what was it? What was it, Bastion? Get rid of that one. And it was... His trap was... Seven Tools of the Bandit? Yeah, because he just played Ring, right? Yeah, so it was Seven Tools of the Bandit. All right, good, good. That means I'm good to play my trap cards, so that's good. All right, Bastion, I attack your Penguin Soldier with my Harpy Lady. Go, Harpy Lady slash, oh, looks like the attack's gonna work. Um, no, we'll save Metamorph, we'll save Metamorph. I could have played it there, but I think we'll be okay. I should reanalyze my formulas. Yeah, you should, mate. All right, let's end my turn. We're doing good here, we're doing really good. Bastion hasn't played anything too overpowered, and he hasn't done anything too crazy like Torrential Tribute or, well, that's pretty powerful, Luster Dragon. Oh, it's the original Luster. Ooh. You want an easy problem to solve, Fled? I activate my face down. Oh, okay. So that's what he had the whole time. Okay, so with that, he took back, what, like Alpha, the Magnet Warrior, or whatever? I attack with Luster Dragon. Yeah, yeah, we know, we know. Well, luckily, we do have Metal Morph, so. I'll be able to get over his um, Luster Dragon here regardless, so we're good, because I can just use the Metal Morph combo. All right, let's see what I draw, and we get, ooh, Harpy's Brother, perfect, perfect. Okay, so nope, don't chain, yep, give me back Sinister Serpent, good, good. All right, and what's good here is Harpy's Brother actually doesn't trigger Harpy's uh, Hunting Ground, because if it did trigger right now, 
we'd sadly have to destroy one of our own spells and traps. Because, yeah, so just, just watch out for that. If you are going with this whole win strategy, you know, whenever you play a Harpy Lady, if your opponent doesn't have any spells and traps, it's, it's like mandatory. You have to... If you play a Harpy Lady, this effect, you know, you have to do it. Uh, so just watch out for that. Oh, and also, like, watch out because your opponent might try to use Monster Reborn or something like that and actually steal your, um, steal your Harpy Lady and then they can actually use Hunting Ground. It's kind of crazy, I know, but... Ooh, still feed, too. Okay, well, we know he took back, like, um, the Magnet Warrior or whatever. And once again, I don't want to trigger my own Hunting Ground. So let's use still feed here. What wins do I have in my graveyard? Okay, let's banish, uh... uh let's just banish Flying Comet Carry number one. For Seal Feed, that's good. -na 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 -na. Now, the card he took back, Alpha, it's got, uh... 1,700 defense, right? I'm pretty sure it does. Like, Beta has 1,700 and so does Alpha. So, I'm not sure what he set there, but... I think the move here... It's just to attack with Harpy's brother first and get in with the other two. Oh, that was Vorse Raider. Wow. Okay, that's actually a really good card. Didn't know he had that card, but he played that in the anime too. Uh, Bastion played Vorse Raider like in his uh, Academy Entrance exam and combo. Did, he did the whole Ring of Destruction. Uh, oh, not Blood Flood. Yeah, he did the whole Ring of Destruction and um, Ring of Defense combo. The same combo Kaiba used to like do all the time but yeah yeah kind of surprised like sometimes in this game people won't actually play like the cards they actually use in the anime but uh bastion here is actually doing it so that's good okay so we got birdface birdface is 18 so that's good i think i'll attack with birdface first and try to go with the maximum damage with harpy's brother go birdface attack drill pick yeah take out that magnet warrior <laughs> All right, Bastion, and I'm not done. Flying Kamakiri, attack his life points directly. All right. Oh, not bad, Flood. Now, Harpy's brother, go. Air Clash Slide Strike. That sounded cool. Is my deck flawed? Maybe might, but it looks like I win. Game over. All right. And yeah, ooh, we did 10,050 damage. That's good. That's good. It definitely gave us more points there. And four monsters destroyed in battle. 486? That's actually really good. Heh, I lost. I learned a lot in this duel. I'll have to recalculate my equations. If you say so, Bastion. Alright, looks like we've got another duel by Mel. Um, but actually, guys, I think what I'm gonna do here is we're just gonna save here. And yeah, that's gonna be the end of this episode. Uh, thank you guys so much for join joining me. And uh, yeah. Hope you like the duels, and I will see you guys all next time. All right, have a good night.